Dear learners, we are moving to lesson 21, Project Work in Business Studies. I am Siba. This lesson is aimed to create practical awareness among the learners. As a first project, we can have find out from five working people around you what they do to earn their living. Classify these under business, profession and employment and show the data in the following format. First column will be the serial number and second column name of the person you have met or the organization. Third name of the product or service. Fourth column business, profession or employment. If you have seen any business unit which is engaged in selling butter, sugar, cement, etc. You can identify that and name of the product you have to write here. And in the last column, you can write it as a business unit. And if you have met any professional like doctors, lawyers, etc. Write his name and name of the service that is doctor is looking after the patients, lawyer is dealing with the clients and settling their claims. Like that you have to identify certain things and write in the respective column and make the report. Employment, any employee working in any type of organization. Business is any human activity which is engaged with production of goods and or services for making certain profit. Profession is an occupation under which a person requires certain special skill or knowledge to perform that activity. Employment is an occupation in which an employer and employee will have certain agreement to perform certain work. And employee will work as per the terms and agreement of the employer. Another project Compare these three economic activities that is business, profession and employment on the basis of the following points. And you have to prepare a report like this. What is the basis meaning? It is regulated by who? Like that you have to write. Three columns for business, profession and employment you have to draw and write the meaning of the business, profession and employment in the first column or first line. And business is regulated by the owner, profession will be regulated by the professional that is the person who is engaged in that profession can be called as a professional. Employment is regulated by the employer, person who has appointed the employee will be the employer and it will be regulated by him. Code of conduct that is how to perform each and every activity. There is no code of conduct for business. For profession, there is a code of conduct usually guided by the associations. For example, for doctors, there is an association called Indian Medical Association. For lawyers, Bar Council of India, etc. will frame the code of conduct. That is how they should work. What are the behavior that is expected from each and every professional? Then coming to employment, definitely there are certain terms and conditions. Even if it is not a code of conduct, we can say it has the terms and conditions between the employer and the employee. Then relating to return, business receives profit. In profession, professionals receive professional fee. In employment, workers receive wages or salary. Definitely high risk is involved in every business. In profession, less risk is there. But the work should be done with that much accuracy or concentration by the professional. Then risk will be very less. In the case of employment, no risk because we can say as long as a person is in employment, he will get salary. So there is no risk. Another report. Talk to any five shopkeepers or any other businessman and find out. The type of goods or services they deal in. The resources they invest like land, labor and capital. Risk and uncertainties they face in earning profit. 
show your report in this format that is serial number, name of the enterprise that you have visited, name of the product or service that they are engaged and how much land is required or used by that particular organization and number of employees then capital and uncertainties they have faced. So example name of the product that you have seen butter, sugar, cement etc. And service from any professional doctors, lawyers, engineers, chartered accountant etc. And how much land area you have to assess it. Then number of employees if anyone is assisted by the professional that also you can write. And capital invested by the business unit will be more. In the business also manufacturing concern require more capital and trading concern require less capital. What can be the uncertainties that the business have faced? You can write like this raw material availability is less or it is not available at proper time. The quality of the raw material is not as expected by that organization. The availability of the laborers at proper time. Then the remuneration that is to be provided to the laborers. That is finding it as a difficulty for that particular organization. Another report. Find out from some shopkeepers or any other business person of your locality about what are the objectives of running the business. Classify these objectives on the basis of the different types of objectives that you have learned and show your report in the following format. Name of the enterprise that you have visited with address. Then you can include different objectives that you have seen. For example, profit making which is one of the main objective of every organization. You can include that as economic objective or giving training and development to the workers that is a human objective. For improving the employment opportunities, if that organization is doing something, then that is a national objective. And producing product according to national priority, that is also a national objective. And using the resources of the environment in a proper manner, that is helpful to the society. So that is a social objective. Giving products at reasonable rate to the society, that is also a social objective. Like that you have to identify and prepare report. Coming to next project work. Identify 5 business activities being carried on in your locality. Classify them into industry or commerce. Further under industry, can you tell whether they are primary, secondary or tertiary industry? Show your report in this format. Industry means any production unit which is engaged in Converting raw material into finished product that is processing or production activity is performed. Commerce includes trade and aids to trade. Trade means exchange of goods and services only. Aids to trade means any activity which is done to conduct the smooth flow of the production process as well as the trading activity. Under auxiliaries to trade or aids to trade, we can include banking, insurance, warehousing, transportation, etc. So, you have identified whether it is an industry or commerce. Then, under industry, you can include this also, whether it is a primary industry. That is, industries which are doing production activity with the help of nature. Then, genetic industries. That is industries which is engaged in the reproduction and multiplication of certain species of plants and animals. Then construction industry that is engaged in the construction of bridges, roads etc. Like that you have to identify and prepare a report. Another report. Survey any 5 shops in your nearby market and make a list of different shops. 
identify at least four business units owned by single individuals that is sole proprietorship. Ask any shopkeeper of a small shop in your locality about the problems faced by him in expanding his business. You can show your report in this format. Serial number, name and address of the enterprise, type of the items available in the shop, ownership whether it is a single owned business or joint venture, problems faced by the sole proprietor like that. Type of items available in the shop, if it is a small shop means more items or variety of items will be there definitely you can include some of the names of different products that is that you have seen. Similarly, there are shops which are engaged in special products only medicines, textiles like that also you can include specialized in one item that is main item is medicine or textile and problems faced to expand the business. Usually sole proprietor will have limited money for investment that is capital is less and capital is less means number of laborers that they can appoint will be very less or expert persons or expert managers cannot be appointed for running the business in a better manner or successful manner and availability of the laborers or working attitude of the laborers these can be the problems faced by the owner. Similarly finance or money. You have to prepare after identifying these factors and prepare a report. Coming to another report, visit the nearest market of your area and ask any five traders which mode of transport they are using for transportation of their goods and why. Ask them for their advantages and disadvantages of that mode of transport. You can show the report in this format. Serial number name of the firm that you have visited, name of the items that they are selling, mode of transport like land transport, air transport, water transport. Under land transport you can further write a report like whether buses or cars or motor vehicle whatever they are using you have to identify that. Under sea transport or water transport you can Identify whether ship is being used by that concern or any other method is used. Air transport like helicopters or aeroplane whichever that is used by that company. Nowadays we have pipeline mode of transport also. Then relating to the advantages of land transport, perishable products can be transported for a short distance comfortably and it is a flexible means of transport because you can unload it at any point that is even near the doorsteps. In the case of sea transport it is more advantages for transporting non-perishable products and that too for long distance. It is a cheaper means of transport when compared with air transport but as a disadvantage as a disadvantage you have to write it will take time that is time consuming and air transport as an advantage you can include fastest means of transport and popular nowadays but as a disadvantage it is expensive. So make a report on the basis of this. Another report. Make a list of any four items which are produced throughout the year but used in a specific season and show your report in the following format. Serial number, name of item, months during which it is produced, months during which it is used. Some items will not be used throughout like winter clothes, umbrella ice cream etc. You have to identify these manufacturers and then make a report relating to this. You can also make a report relating to the 
storing activities done by these organization or warehousing that is storage if done on a large scale it is warehousing so through warehousing what are the advantages that the organization is receiving safety of the goods quality of the goods will be maintained properly and arrangement of the goods at proper place easy identification of the products so these things what you have identified make a report relating to that another report ask any five sole proprietors of your locality whether he is interested in converting his business to a partnership firm no down the reasons given by the sole proprietor and make a report like this serial number name of the sole proprietorship business name of the sole proprietor and reasons for not interested in converting or reasons for interested in converting also you can make a report that is why sole proprietors are interested in converting sometimes they are expecting more money for advancement or expansion of the business so with their limited capital it will not be possible so if two or three partners are included and if the organization is converted into a partnership firm more capital will be there then more managerial expertise or efficiency in the operation because of the managerial expertise similarly raw material availability or control of the raw materials laborers etc if too many persons are involved in the organization means through division of labor these activities can be performed in a better manner and reasons for not interested in converting it can be the sole proprietor may be interested to retain the secrets of the business he want full control of the organization like that there can be reasons for not converting it into partnership another report visit the office of any five cooperative societies in your locality and find out what is the purpose of this society who are the members of this society what are the activities of this society does this society face any problems in its operation prepare a report in this format serial number name of the society purpose of this society number of members main activities of this society and problems in operation name of this society for example consumers cooperative society purpose to protect the consumers or to avoid middlemen number of members 10 for example main activities of the society collecting materials that is required by the consumers and making it available to them at a reasonable rate by avoiding the middlemen problems in operation finding out the availability of the products from different areas or lack of money then another type of society producers cooperative society purpose to help the producers of a particular area by collecting their products and main activities you can include by collecting the product of those producers and selling it at proper places problems usually faced will be the availability of the finished goods from different producers at proper time that is when the mode of transport when any transport vehicle is reached in that particular area most of the time the product will not be in a, in a finished stage so that will affect the smooth running of the producers cooperative society similarly there can be conflict among the members like that you can include whatever you have seen 
in that particular organization. Another report, make a list of banks operating in your locality and classify them according to their functions. You can prepare a report like this, serial number, name of bank, branch, mean function, type of bank. Whether it is a private bank or cooperative bank or rural bank. Main functions you can include accepting deposits, giving loan, helping the customers in sanctioning the loan. In addition to that, safe custody of the jewelries. Like that, whatever you have identified, write it as a main function. And type of bank. Private bank that is operated by individuals. Cooperative bank, any cooperative society which is performing the activity of a banking can be considered as a cooperative bank. Any bank which is located in the rural area is a rural bank. Going to another report, go to the nearest branch of any bank and collect information about various types of accounts which can be opened in that branch and show your report in this form. Serial number, type of account, minimum amount that is to be required for opening that account, rate of interest, maturity period and its suitability. I have also given type of accounts like savings account, current account, recurring deposit account like that. Savings account is aimed to encourage saving habit among the customers. Current accounts are operated by the business persons because there is no restriction on the number of withdrawals. There is no minimum amount that is required to be maintained in the current account. Recurring deposit account that is in every month some amount is to be deposited. And its maturity period will be one year or it should be continued for one year or five year like that. According to your comfortability, select any one year or three year or five year like that and make a recurring deposit account. Fixed deposit account are usually maintained with a fixed amount of money for a fixed term. For example, three months, five months, one year, two year, etc. term. Fixed amount, it can be 50,000, 20,000, 10,000, 5,000, whatever money you have, you can have fixed deposit. The disadvantage is that you will not be able to withdraw the amount from the fixed deposit account before that term you have given earlier. Like that you can do analysis of different accounts from different account holders and prepare a report. Coming to another report, go to the business persons of a locality who have got insurance cover against different types of uncertainties. Make a list of at least 5 of such shopkeepers with their name, address and ask them the nature of insurance cover, name of the policy and its advantages. Show your report in this form. Serial number name and address of business person, nature of insurance cover, name of policy, name of insurance company. It can be life insurance or marine insurance or fire insurance. And nature of insurance cover can be for the life of one person, can be for the life of two persons like husband and wife jointly or for the children. In the case of marine insurance, there are different types of insurance like hull insurance, cargo insurance. For the cargo that is shipped, we will take insurance. So like that you have to identify whether it is a marine insurance or fire insurance or life insurance and prepare a report. Read the newspaper and find out from the articles and advertisements about the products being sold through mail order business and study 
the advantages and disadvantages of mail order business. You can prepare a report like this. Usually mail order business is done mainly with the help of postal department or through post everything is done. That is there is no direct contact between the seller and the buyer. Seller will advertise their products either through newspapers or magazines or brochure and buyer will see those things and give order for any selected product and the seller will send it to the buyer through post. Usually payment will be made at the time of delivery of the products. Nowadays online transactions are also becoming popular. So in that with the help of debit card or credit card you are using certain facility for payment. Prepare a list of goods and services you are using in your day to day life. As a consumer have you ever faced any problem? while buying goods and services. Study the various rights of consumers and show your report in the following format. As a right of consumer, I would like to say right to safety, right to be informed, right to choose etc. are the rights of consumer. So the product you have identified, here report is given in this format, serial number, name of product or service, name of the manufacturer, problem faced and rights of the consumer, right to safety. If any pressure cooker that you have bought is not up to the standard and if you have faced any injury, you can write like that, right to safety. Then right to be informed, if in any packed item, the quantity of the material or the ingredients are not properly stated in the cover then right to be informed is the right that is concerning in that particular problem. Then right to seek redressal that is also a right of a consumer that is consumers if they have suffered any problem relating to any product they should be given certain remedy they have the right to seek redressal or remedy for that particular problem. Like this you have to make a report. Another project using newspapers, magazines and other business references identify and describe at least five companies that you think are socially responsible and at least five companies that you think are not responsible socially. Show your report in this format. Socially responsible companies Serial number, name of the company, social activity of the company, name of the social responsibility. Responsibility towards honors, that is providing fair return, that is using their capital in a proper way, producing the products at proper time, paying dividend to the shareholders. These are the social responsibility of the business towards the honors. Then towards the consumers also they have social responsibility like making available the products at proper time to the consumers. That too right quality product at reasonable prices. Towards the suppliers making payment at proper time and following the terms and conditions with the supplier. So these are the responsibility of the business towards the supplier. Towards the government, business have certain responsibility giving employment opportunity to the people and making available products to the consumers at proper time and production of the product according to the national priority. So dear learners, you got some idea relating to the preparation of project work so that you will get practical awareness relating to this topic business studies. Thank you.